So have you ever walked into a gnat cluster? <laughs> you're just walking down the street and then all of a sudden you're just enveloped by all of these flying little insects and you're just like, ah, oh my gosh, right? I promise I'm making it make sense, but hi, this is Marissa with Marissa Moments. So what I feel to share with you is that that's how the enemy has been operating with so many of us. Because here's the thing, right? When you've been through so much trauma, so much pain, so much turmoil, when big things happen, you're like, all right, this is light work. Let's go. I've seen demons bigger than this in my sleep, right? And we're not talking about ego. We're talking about experience, right? We're talking about security. We're talking about confidence, right? So the thing that God wants me to share with you right now is that these gnat clusters are everywhere, right? And what's more, sometimes people will gaslight you and create these small little triggers here and there because guess what happens when you walk into that cluster? If somebody's watching you from across the street, they're not going to realize that you're enveloped by all of these flying insects and all of this frustration and all of these things. All they're going to know is they see you swinging at the air so you look crazy, right? Well, people are aware of it. And Let's take you even further. People in your life are aware of that, right? So they will press those buttons that you have shown them that they could press so easily. But guess what? That's why we're working on our healing because those buttons aren't as sensitive. We recognize, okay, we recognize those gnat clusters from a distance, right? Because the only reason we get enveloped or caught in those clusters in the first place is because we're not paying attention. We're not paying attention. We're asleep in our own life. We're so caught up in our phones. We're in zombie mode. But when we wake up, we're more alert, right? We're more aware. And that way we can see those uh, zombies. We can see those gnat clusters from a yard away. And instead of walking through it, we go around it. It no longer is a problem, right? Because we are aware. And that is what God wants you to do is wake up and be aware. Because listen, as much as I would love to say that the people who are going to set up those gnat clusters ahead of you are going to magically disappear, that's not going to happen. But what is going to happen and what hopefully is going to happen is that you become so aware, you become mindful, you become so enveloped in his word, in his guidance, right? That you learn the lesson of walking through the gnat cluster and decide I'm not doing that anymore. So now I'm going around it and I'm going to avoid it all together. <sighs> God also wants me to remind you and this, I'm like, ugh. Sometimes when you do walk into that cluster, because it may still happen, all you got to do is step out. All you got to do is step out. It's like feeling like you're drowning in one foot, in, in three feet of water. Now, if you're two, five, then that's a problem, right? But if you're over three feet, all you got to do is stand up. Mm, that's another message. Stand up. So stop walking through the gnat clusters, but if you do, be aware because that is how the enemy gets you. It's not about the large attacks. It's about the small little things that start adding up and adding up and adding up. And before you know it, you are surrounded by them. So take it one at a time. Identify it before it can take you out and keep it moving. Because the main thing to get out of, the, out of that cluster is to keep walking. You don't stand there and observe oh, this is disgusting. No, you keep it moving and you move ahead, right? And don't give them a show. That's all. Thank you so much for watching Apples and Tomatoes, all the things and uh, bye.